Hello everyone and welcome to C++ Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install C++ compiler and use it in Visual Studio Code or VS Code and in Windows. Okay, so here's the main idea. In this tutorial we explain how to install a version of GNU or GNU compiler collection. GNU compiler collection is often abbreviated as GCC. GCC contains a powerful and easy to use C++ compiler. Moreover, GCC is free and open source. We also explain how to set it up in Visual Studio Code or VS Code and how to compile C++ programs in Visual Studio Code. Besides installing a version of a GCC compiler, it is also possible to install and use some other compilers in VS Code, such as, for example, Microsoft Visual C++ compiler or similar Microsoft Windows compilers. You should actually try to compile your code using several different or at least two compilers. In particular, in this tutorial we explain how to install a version or a port of GCC for Windows called MinGW. MinGW stands for Minimalist GNU for Windows. It includes a port of GNU compiler collection or GCC. Consequently, it is a free and open source C++ build system. Also, it's very important to mention that this tutorial is very important for other tutorials on this channel covering C++, robot operating system, machine learning and control engineering topics. So let's immediately start. The first step is to download and install a version of MinGW and to perform this step we have two options. The first option is to go to this website and to download a MinGW distribution. Another option is to go over here to this website and to download the corresponding distribution. However, I tested downloading MinGW from this website and installing it and it works perfectly. However, I didn't test the second option. Consequently, let's stick to the first option. So go to this website, click over here, and find this executable file. This is a self-extracting archive, and I will download it in my downloads folder. Okay, next, let's navigate to our download folder. I will simply click over here, and I will automatically go to the downloads folder, and let's now double click here and what will happen over here this is file is a self-extracting archive so we will simply extract it and i will extract it to this folder called t and this will take some time since you're dealing here with almost 1000 megabytes of files okay this looks quick actually and here it is okay next Copy this folder by pressing Ctrl C and then let's go to the C folder and over here I will simply paste the folder. However, you can also open a new folder or create a new folder and copy it to that new folder. However, here for simplicity I will simply press Ctrl V and paste it over here. And again, you have to be patient since you, even the copying process takes a significant amount of time. You will see the folder over here. So double click on this folder and it's very important over here to find where the executables. Usually the executables are in this folder BIN or BIN or BIN, which is short for binary. So double click over here and you can see all the executable. The next step is to add this folder to the Windows path such that we can execute these compilers directly from the command prompt. So copy this path over here and let's set the Windows path. To set the Windows path click on start and search for environment variables. So type environment and you should see this option over here. Click here then click on advanced, click on environmental, environment variables and you should see this window. Over here click on path, click on edit and set, click somewhere over here and click on new and paste this path. 
OK. Now click OK, click OK, and click OK. This should actually add this folder to the Windows path. And we were, consequently, we will be able to execute the G++ executable, which will start our compiler. So let's test it. So click on Start, then type Terminal or Command Prompt, and open a Command Prompt. OK, so over here, let's do this. G++ double dash version. So what will happening right now, we are testing the compiler. And if you see this response, this means that you can actually run the compiler. Good. Let's continue. The next step is to install Visual Studio. The next step is to download and install Visual Studio code. So open Google and search download VS Code. Or you can simply go to this web page and you can click on a download for Windows button. After you click on this button, save the file in the downloads folder. Then open the downloads folder and let's start the installation by double clicking on the file. Let's accept the agreement. Click on next, click on next, click on next, click on next, click on install. And that's it. Now here you need to be patient. And over here, let's deselect this option since we will manually start Visual Studio Code. Okay. To start Visual Studio Code, click on Start and search for Visual Studio Code and simply click on the app. The next step is to install extensions for C++ programming languages. There are several ways to do that. The easiest way is to click on View, then click on Extensions over here, and over here search for C++. So let's see what are the options we have. We have this option, and also you have this option. So click over here on the first one, and click on Install. And it will be installed right now. OK, next, let's create our first file. First of all, click here on the Explorer, then Click on File, New File, and let's call the file test2.cpp. This will be our first file. So let's save the file in a folder. I usually like to save all of my test files in this particular folder. And I will simply create the file. And you will be asked this, do you want to install the recommended extension pack? Again, although we installed the previous pack, again, Click over here to install even this one, although it's the same one. OK, so let's go back to our Explorer and let's go back to our file. You can click it over here and simply close this and close this. So let's start with coding. So let's start by including the first statement, input output stream. That is, let's include the first library, then let's include cstdlib library, then let's write using namespace std, and let's create our main function. Over here, we will return zero, and we will print a simple message, see out my first program. And let's do this, let's close this. The next step is to compile this code and to run it. Let's learn how to do that. There are several approaches for compiling this code. Click over here and click on Run C or C++ file. And automatically this menu will pop up. And here you can see that Visual Studio Code is able to recognize our installed compiler. The compiler is G++ and here is the path of the compiler. And that's precisely the path of the folder that we use to install our compiler. So let's click here. And let's see what will happen. Okay, so let's close this again and let's run the file. So let's again do this. And here it is, my first program 
Now you see a bunch of these things over here, which are basically artifacts. So to get rid of these debugging artifacts, the best approach is to click here, click on command prompt, and then over here, let's execute our file. Let's again click here, and here it is. Although it, you see that you are automatically returned to the PowerShell, and this is not what we want. So the best approach again is to go here, then let's go to our folder where our file is. And over here you will see test to executable. So simply execute it like this. And here it is. This is my first program. And you will not see these artifacts over here. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.